Hey guys, how is everybody? What are all the yellow things that you are seeing out there now? Type it below if you know. You guessed it. I'm sure you probably did by now. The yellow buses. Oh my goodness. Today I was out and about and saw a lot of the big yellow wheels on the bus go round and round as the song goes. And so I wanted to just do this live tonight and say hi and to all of our busy moms out there. That's what I do. I'm Pam Foster if I haven't met you before and I help busy moms take care of themselves and their families in a healthy way. So I'm glad that you're joining in with us tonight. If this is your first time being on a live with me, drop a one in the comments below. And if this is your second time being on with me or multiple times, drop a two below. And then if it is your, um, if you're watching it on the replay, and if you are, if you have any questions, make sure to uh, type them in the comments below because I always go back and check this to make sure if there's any questions anyone has that I can answer, I'll be more than happy to. So put hashtag replay in there if you're watching it at the end. So it's good to see a lot of you popping on tonight. I am basically going in here tonight to touch base with everyone and let you know about something that I'm super excited about. And uh, many of you know, just a little background on myself. I taught high school choir for 25 years and loved it. I love my kids. They were a blast. Uh, some of them I even see on right now. Why don't you type some of your favorite memories in the comments below? I would love to hear some of those again. Um, but anyway, 25 years in the classroom was a joy. And now that I am not in the classroom, I'm still helping others, but doing it more uh, through this live format and through my blog. And so I wanted to let you know that I did have that available. I also have a fan page up. So this is my personal page I'm going live from tonight. Uh, actually, personal profile, to get this terminology correct. And um, so those of you that follow me, follow my family, things like that, stay over here on the personal profile. If you want to know more about what I'm doing and you like to kind of follow along and get some tips and things for busy moms through the school year, what can I do to take care of myself better, those kinds of things, I'm going to be doing that on my fan page, which is just Pam Foster. So just uh, look it up on Facebook. I'll put a link below that you can just tag and go on over and uh, if you would like the page and share it with others. And then the blog is where I'm doing posting of stories and things that uh, hopefully will encourage you in your walk every day because I love giving back and I feel like um, so many of these young moms and teachers and uh, us grandmas, <laughs> we're out here, we could use some encouragement every day. So the blog will be going live. That is also pamfosteronline.com. So if you would pop over there, that would be great. I do have several posts. I just put it up. Uh, funny story, the other day I didn't even know that it was live and someone commented on it and I was like, wow, where'd that come from? And so I'm learning the technology as we're going through it, which is kind of fun. And um, helping you know to reach back and help others that's my goal right now with that um, so um, a little bit about myself my story is when I was doing all those teaching and you know loving my kids and being in the school system and all those kinds of things it also brought along a lot of stress and that's one of the reasons why I'm adamant about helping others stay healthy and just taking you know small steps that you can do I mean we all know the basics but sometimes it does help to have a new recipe or something that you can grab hold of or some new little tip of the day and so I will be going live once a week for sure and giving a free resource at the end and the free resource this week if you hop on over to the blog or on my fan page I have it over there um, it's about 20 healthy between meal snacks because my weight fluctuated for years and years and years it was up and down roller coaster uh, oh my goodness I, I lost and gained and lost and gained and all those things over the years and so um, finally found something you know uh, got on a plan that worked for me and some of that is the snacks right I mean you need to eat uh, it's a lifestyle it's just taking care of yourself and so if you'd like to know more about what I'm doing I do have that free download for you so that you can uh, make healthier choices this year for yourself too uh, and you cannot get bored with some of the same things all the time so I've got some some cool recipes over there uh, and on the blog I've got some back to school tips for moms for busy moms and starting out the school year and things that hopefully will give you a good start to your year and um, so those of you that are on I do want to recognize a couple of people in here I see people popping on and LJ oh my goodness congratulations on your new baby uh, he's one of my former students I tell you guys it makes my heart so warm when I see my kids well I say my kids <laughs> um, 
I do call them my kids. You know, I feel like I was with those kids a long time in high school, some of them for four years. And I know LJ actually, I was in middle school teaching him and then moved up to high school. So I think I actually had him for seven years. And so when he graduated high school, it's like my own kids graduating. Um, and we do have four kids. We're blessed with those two little grandbabies, uh, grandsons. And so, um, you know, it does your heart good when you see people doing so well. So congratulations to you and your family. Um, a cool story from last Sunday. Sometimes God allows us to see those small blessings, you know, the teachers that are going back right now, I get so excited because I know what it was like to go into the store, you know, and, and go get your new supplies and get your rooms ready and all those cool things. And um, you never know every day, you know, how you're planting seeds. Same thing with parenting or grandparenting. You know, we're, we're giving back and we're hoping to make those impressions on our grandkids and, and our own kids. And then as they're raising their little ones, what we can do to uh, be positive you know in a world that's kind of toxic today in a lot of ways we can still offer a lot of positive uh, growth for them and um, so last Sunday I was sitting in church and one of my former students was actually preaching and cool thing is his little four-year-old actually I have a picture of it over on my blog and his little four-year-old was um, actually up there with his daddy reading scripture uh, talk about touching your heart and warming your heart when you see that you know of the fruits of what you you know I of course I didn't raise him I mean I, I hope I had a little bit to do with what his life was and the fun times that we had in high school and teaching the arts which I think are very important for our kids today which uh, unfortunately are diminishing in a lot of areas but uh, the things that we can do to give back guys is what it's all about and so every day think about what you can do to make someone smile put a little smile on their face and give back a little bit every day so hop on over to my fan page Pam Foster on Facebook or over onto the blog if you'd like to a little, little bit more and read some stories and uh, just stay connected with me I uh, would love to hear your feedback some of you that have done that before or maybe have some expertise in that I'm quite open to some uh, constructive uh, criticism right now and feedback so that I can get that up and make it really where it's giving valuable content to you that will help you uh, from life lessons that I've learned and also just from us helping one another. So thank you so much for being on tonight, guys. Love you. And until next time, see you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.